Hello, everybody. It's Madhaven here, and I'm still shaking a little bit. <laughs> it it is my first day back on the game in seven months, and I got a Kalibanov's medal in my play session today. I decided to play a little bit of Progetto, and it turned out really, really good. Um, yeah, 7,220 damage is decent. I can't say decent. That's actually really freaking good damage. I can't say anything about that. Um, but yeah, I just, this was a game that just blew me away. Um, eight kills, 7,228 damage. Let's jump into the replay and take a look at how the last five were achieved. So while the match is going, I'm just going to quickly fast forward the crap out of this. Just jump all the way where I need to jump, which is, yeah, about right here. Because at this moment in time, this is the moment when everything just went downhill for me. Now, a lot of people that play World of Tanks on a daily basis, they don't tend to get the adrenaline that you get in a very stressful, um, well, the anxiety, I think is the best way to put this. Because you're going to end up in situations that it just are not meant to go your way. Um, they're extremely difficult, and this is one of those moments where I, I need to focus on the roofless, because that's, that's a big one-hit Death Star gun with the E4 turret, but not the same gun mental. Thank God. Um, I've been talking to Blade a couple of times, and I told Blade today that I kind of want to get back in the world of tanks, just because the amount of time that we invested into it, the amount of money that we invested into it, and everything else that we went into the game with is quite a bit. And I I'm going to make this quick. We're going to jump timers here. I got spotted. I put one round into the straw, into the buttocks of him. He's done the 356 hit points. I do 360, 360 alpha, which means that it's a 50-50 chance if I'm going to kill him or not. I pull up right here. Hello, E100. Hello, Russ. I don't even know how much damage you do, but it's a very big derpy cannon, it looks like. I get hit for 751. Honestly, I probably should have killed the E100 um, with my second round immediately, rather than just immediately going after Russ. Uh, and here comes Strav. We're going to sit down, take our time. We're going to aim, guarantee the shot into the hatch. And, and then we're going to skip 30 seconds. Uh, I do a drop down. And then I'm going to stop and say this. By the time I drove down this ridge right here, I could feel my heartbeat in my ears. I could, I, I felt my eyes pulsing with my heart. I have not experienced that in a really, really long time. And it is exhilarating. There is nothing that beats it, in my opinion. The just, the moment that you feel like you have all this power. Um, I used a lot of standard ammunition. I've only fired one premium round, and this entire match was, which was into the rust. And in this match, I fired a total of 28 rounds. So I've been very proactive. Um, the Strav 103B. It's a very, you know, sneaky guy. I spotted him out as I made a different play than normal. I didn't go all the way around. I kind of just cut down middle after I got unspotted because I need to move quick. I got the hit point advantage. I'm loading high explosives because he has eight hit points left. It's all about guaranteeing that kill. But enough about the match because this was, in fact, a match that made me realize something. I enjoy World of Tanks. I enjoy, I enjoy the community behind it. Honestly, I didn't even get a message at the end of this saying good job or anything else. And by the way, as you can tell, it's 12.41 at night, 12.41 a.m., almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, for me, I, I will say this. It felt nice today to play the game. And I understand that a lot of people are disappointed with things that have been brought into the game. I, I am also disappointed with a lot of those things. So, going where I left off. Sure, there's a lot of things bad. There's a lot of good things too. The community. It's a game that I've made a lot of friends with, and honestly, I haven't been playing with Blade a whole lot. Instead, the past seven months, I've invested uh, 1,300 hours in the Halo Wars 2 to set a world record, to do something else completely different for the time being. I paid some money to have a video edited. I 
I did a ton of things in in between this time. And I want to come back to the game with a different mindset. A mindset that's a bit more appreciating what they do because, I mean, honestly, don't get me wrong, all the skimpy character commanders that they've been coming out with, in my opinion, is just not that exciting. Is my camera still up? Yeah, it's still up. It's not dead yet, but it's really close. Um, if you guys have anything that you would like to say to me, drop it down in the comments below. If there's a direction you guys would like to see the channel take for World of Tanks content, because I do plan on coming back, let me know. And I mean, this is a story that has been said time and time again. Clone Guy did it. He left the game and came back. Me, I disappeared for seven months. I criticized the game left and right as much as I could, but in all honesty, it may be a parody of itself and a not so well thought out one. But it's the only way I get to experience World of Tanks unless I want to play with mouse and keyboard. And to be honest with you guys, my hands kill me all the time. They bleed. All my skin on top of them is falling off. I work production. I do all sorts of things. And in all honesty, playing on mouse and keyboard, my issue is, is that I have a little bit of carpal tunnel and it hurts to play with mouse and keyboard. But playing with a controller, it's a lot less motion. I'm not sitting there like... I'm aiming at him now, because that simply just hurts me. So, yeah. I haven't had a feeling like this in a while with any games that I've played. Call of Duty maybe did it for like five minutes, but then you just got out of it like nothing, because it wasn't really that impressive. But on World of Tanks, a, a Call of Bonov's medal is one of the hardest medals to get unless you're going after a Faden's medal, and that's even harder to get. So, yeah, I gotta say, this this was a really good experience today. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, artillery with their stupid rate of fire and getting hit by an AP round my first game, first game back, I got hit by an AP round from artillery. That was fun. Anyways, you guys, thank you for sitting back with me these past seven months and putting up with everything that I've done. I plan on getting back to it because in all honesty, I, I don't know anything else to do. <laughs> There's nothing coming out that's interesting and I haven't been able to find a main game except for the main game I did find has a very, very, very small audience and I've already put up a couple of Reddit posts describing um, firefight guides and everything else. So I kind of did my work over there and I'll, I'll probably do it to other games as well. So I'll, I'll be coming back to World of Tanks, but I will be taking breaks. Those breaks may be two weeks where I just completely disappear off the face of the earth and I upload nothing, but I'm working on other games and working on more guides for different things on Reddit. Anyways, you guys, thank you. I hope you have a great day, afternoon, night, whatever time you're catching this. It is literally almost one in the morning for me. I'm tired. Also, uh, this was full about five hours ago. Uh, so, there's that. I'm a little bit messed up. So, yeah, good times. Always good times. I still have adrenaline coursing through my veins, even though it's been almost 30 minutes since this happened. I'm having problems. A couple of them. Till next time, catch you later.